Oh yeah, you better believe that the Twitterati is not going to let us get away with only a part one of this series. Plenty of celebrities are getting caught slipping and their apologies are almost worse than their original reason for them getting cancelled. Not all of them, but some of the apologies definitely didn't help their case in the court of public opinion that is Twitter's cancel culture. Welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm your host Johnny Rogers and before we kick this video off, if you want to see more videos about celebrities getting cancelled, just tap that playlist in the corner of your screen. Also, if you don't want to miss another daily video from us, make sure you tap that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. So much tapping going on. Now without any further delay, let's get right into today's list of the top 10 celebrities cancelled in 2020, part 2. In at number 10, Liza Koshy. After a video of her using a mock Asian accent resurfaced, YouTuber Liza Koshy took to Instagram to apologize. Another clip included footage of Koshy pretending to speak Japanese. Her last video though is one simply titled, I am so sorry, and the video is simply a recording of her apology letter as the cursor blinks on the final words. In the letter she writes, what I once thought of as innocent jokes were actually tainted with implicit bias and what might have been intended as playful was actually to some incredibly painful. And for that, I am sorry. One of these videos in question was originally posted back in 2016 and includes Koshi putting on an Asian accent while tasting candy from Japan and Hawaii. Although she wasn't alone for this one, in that video was her fellow YouTuber and at the time boyfriend David Dobrik. In at number 9, Jake Paul. Whether or not you've ever enjoyed Jake Paul's content, he, I mean, he certainly has built an impressive fan base over the years simply by acting like a maniac. He's garnered over 20 million subscribers on YouTube, most of which truly enjoyed the content that he's posted over the years. Jake already had some people beginning to hate him when he tried to sell a gambling service called Mystery Box to his young fans, but the straw that broke the camel's back came when he decided to do some filming in Arizona. During the riots that took place in multiple areas around the city, Jake found himself on camera being handled a bottle of vodka that was stolen from a P.F. Chang's. Following that he was arrested for unlawful assembly and trespassing after multiple eyewitness accounts notified the police. Then on top of that arrest, his house was raided by the FBI in connection to the Arizona looting and they uncovered a ton of weapons. In fact, one of them was just sitting next to his hot tub. Not sure why you'd need that so close. If you're in the hot tub, they're gonna get you. In number 8, Victoria Fuller. Victoria Fuller is probably best known for appearing as a contestant on season 24 of The Bachelor. On the side though, Victoria had dabbled with some modeling, but this gig in particular that she took was probably one of the dumbest things that she could have ever done. The campaign was called White Lives Matter and was meant to raise awareness for white marlins because they were classified as endangered species. Although when I looked into it, they weren't actually endangered. Even the merch itself was just beyond tone deaf and one of the shirts actually had a modified confederate flag on the back which just added more fuel to the fire. As a result, Cosmopolitan Magazine decided to cancel her photo shoot. Lauren Zima posted the photos and shared the story saying, Sharing this, Cosmopolitan has decided not to digitally share and publish Peter and Victoria F's winning group date photos in tonight's Bachelor episode after photos surfaced of Victoria F apparently posing in White Lives Matter clothing. Not apparently, she was. In number 7, Sherry Pie. For RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12, they were burdened by a very strong accusation against one of their performers. Contestant Sherry Pie was axed from the show after he allegedly tried to groom and cap fish five men. He had pretended to be a casting director and asked each of the men to send in videos of them doing very degrading things. Although upon the victims doing further research into this supposed casting director, they discovered that it was all just fake. The issue with taking Joey who plays Sherry Pie off the show though was that Sherry had won most of the competitions already so he couldn't just be easily edited out. Sherry Pie has apologized and admitted that his behavior was terribly embarrassing. Regardless, he was disqualified from the show and the producers did their very best to remove most of his images giving him very minimal screen time. In number 6, Jay K. Rowling. The author of Harry Potter will go down as having some of the most savage tweets out there. I mean, she has a strong passion for shutting down trolls. In reply to someone mocking her, well, J.K. Rowling said, I type a longer retort, but these diamond buttons really hurt my fingers, although sometimes you can take things a little too far. In response again to a hater who said, glad I caught this article on Yahoo, I will now burn your books and movies too, J.K. Rowling replied with, well, the fumes from the DVDs might be toxic and I've still got your money, so by all means, borrow my lighter. That is an insane thing to say to someone someone that is just criticizing your work. And just ignore them. If anything, you're JK Rowling. You're loaded. And she also just recently made some very transphobic tweets that utterly enraged whatever Harry Potter fans that she had left. In number 5, Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams is no stranger to stirring up controversy with her daytime talk show appearances. In fact, it's probably the only reason why people actually tune in to watch her show. That being said, Wendy took things way too far when she decided to mock Joaquin Phoenix and the scar on his upper lip. She first told her audience that she finds him oddly attractive, but when he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hair hairline fracture. Then she goes on to add that it's a cleft palate right before she mocks people with cleft palates. One of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lip. Yeah. Cleft palate. Yep. He's, he's got yep. this. Yep. He's got this. Uh -huh. No, I find it to be, I find it to be very attractive. <laughs> 
Canadian football player Adam Big Hill was one of the many people that criticized Wendy for her remarks on social media. Adam tweeted, Today is Bo's big day. He is getting his lip repaired today in Winnipeg by the fantastic Dr. Ross. Thanks to everyone who has reached out and in advance, thanks for any of your well wishes for Bo. He is so loved. In response to the backlash, Wendy tweeted in response to Adam's post saying, At Big Hill 44, we're thinking about Bo today as he is in surgery. I want to apologize to the Clef community and in Bo's honor. Our show is donating to Operation Smile and Amor Clef Palette and encourage our Wendy watchers to learn more and help support the Clef community. You could have done that before people got mad at you. I really hate when these celebrities do that. They, they make a mistake in something and they're like, okay, I'll just throw money at it and that'll solve the issue. No, it doesn't. You cancel. In at number 4, Abby Lee Miller. Abby Lee Miller is another celebrity that is no stranger to creating controversies and she did so many times in the reality TV hit show called Dance Moms. Throughout her time on the show, she has made numerous headlines for repeatedly screaming at her young students in her studio and has been called out for styling children in costumes that are barely in existence. She was once even sued by a 13 year old dancer over allegations of emotional abuse. However, after Adriana Smith, mother of season 8 star Cameron Smith, alleged that Abby had made racist remarks towards them, she promptly pulled her daughter off the series. Miller denied the claims but then issued an apology saying, I genuinely understand and deeply regret how my words have affected and hurt those around me in the past, particularly those in the black community. To Cameron, Adriana and anyone else I've hurt, I am truly sorry. Regardless, the Lifetime Network decided to sever ties with Miller as a result of these allegations made against her. In at number 3, Jessica Mulroney. CTV announced that they would be removing Jessica's reality show called I Do Redo because her recent conduct conflicted with the broadcaster's commitment to diversity and equality. Influencer Sasha Exeter accused Mulroney of trying to threaten her livelihood. Recently, Sasha made a post about the importance of speaking out against racism, and it was oddly met with criticism from Jessica. Exeter said that she was not calling Jessica racist, but said that she is very well aware of her wealth and power along with the privilege that she is afforded due to her skin color. Apparently, Jessica took offense to Sasha simply asking her audience to support speaking out against racism. All of those comments have since been deleted, but what will stay up forever is this letter from CTV that said, Because recent conduct by one of our show hosts, Jessica Mulroney, conflicts with our commitment to diversity and equality, CTV has removed I Do Redo from all Bell Media channels and platforms effective immediately. In number 2, Chase Stokes. Netflix star Chase Stokes, who played John B in the series called Outer Banks, just recently had to go back through his Twitter and Facebook timeline to delete some older, insensitive tweets. In one of those tweets, Chase said, Why do fat people on planes insist on tightening their seatbelt as tight as it can possibly go? If we crash, that's definitely not saving you. He then made several other tweets using the R word to describe bad drivers in Orange County. Now, Chase took a bizarre hill to die on when he tried to explain these tweets. He apologized for them, but then claimed that his account was hacked back then, and that's why these offensive tweets were still up. If someone hacked your account, tweeted a bunch of weird stuff, you would go and delete that immediately, right? Chase tried to explain himself by tweeting, in regards to me being hacked because that seems to be a subject, I was hacked. I never said hackers deleted my messages, I understood that my past and what I said was hurtful, so I deleted my tweets to start fresh and not let things I said in the past continue to hurt people. So which is it? <laughs> Did you say the offensive stuff and then go make a fresh I'm so confused. So many questions, Chase. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Sheena Shea. If you're a fan of Vanderpump Rules, I implore you to start calling the celebrity Sheena Stay at Home. In a series of now deleted tweets, the star said, Any of my friends working from home this week should come join me for a Palm Springs quarantine. Hey. Which wasn't a joke because she went on to say, I will continue to live my life in Palm Springs or MRD with my friends and not live it in complete isolation or fear. Simple as that. Call me ignorant, but I'm not going to stop living. She got smack you guys, with people just ripping into her for being so dumb. This is not the time to be going on vacation with your friends. Listen to the World Health Organization when they tell you the importance of staying home. She soon apologized saying, for those who expressed concern or viewed my remarks as insensitive, I had just returned from a work trip and wasn't fully updated on the pandemic. I now understand the severity of our current predicament. Please stay safe and wash your damn hands. I guarantee you that that apology would not have come if she wasn't trying to salvage her reputation, whatever reputation she has. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Cardi B has joined OnlyFans. Tapsweet Top 10 says, OnlyFans is the naughty version of Patreon. <laughs> this is the most accurate way to describe OnlyFans, unless you also don't know what Patreon is. Then I don't know how else to, to describe it. It's like Snapchat for money. They're like, what's Snapchat? Ah, uh, God. Jackie says, Joss, absolutely older, you look real young. <laughs> Funny enough, I am the older brother in that scenario. I have a young face, but it is deceiving. Time Aim Bot says, Does Johnny Rogers still do Top 10 Gaming? I haven't been on Top 10 Gaming in a while, but I still love playing video games. Maybe I'll come back and do a quick feature. I don't like doing the creepypasta videos though. <laughs> I can tell you that safely here. Not there. They love them. Alehi Rose says, I think Joss would be the older sibling. 
Fair assumption, but just know that you are not correct. Anime Weird says, be nice to your big sister, Johnny. <laughs> Fine, I'm fine, Joss is the older one. I'm sure she'll love that. And that has been the Top 10 Celebrities Cancelled in 2020 Part 2. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to our editors for all of their hard work. If you enjoyed this video, please show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on today's list. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it pops up. From Top 10 Beyond the Screen, my name is Johnny Rogers and until next time, stay classy. After multiple I wins after multiple Y- Wow. I now understand the severity of our current prick a dip prick a dip prick a dip. I haven't been on top of them gaming.